Hello everybody, it's Tim again. I wanted to do a quick review and not, not even so much review but kind of a thing you can do with the, the megawatt power supply right here. I just got one about a week or so ago and uh, it's the uh, the 400 model and it's about 36 amps. I think it says 30 continuous. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, well, 36 amps at 90% and then 30 at 100%. So uh, you can see how small it is. And it's a, of course, it's a switcher power supply, not a linear, but uh, the thing that made me think about this was when I was working on this radio here, I didn't really have a power supply that was capable of that because the, uh, the linear power supply I use for the TS590, that stays up with the radios and it's just a pain in the butt to bring it down, so I didn't bother. Everything else I own is a, a boat anchor that has a built-in power supply. So I thought, well, if my TS or if my uh, power supply for upstairs would go bad, you, do I have something I can use in a pinch till I get it back up and running? So for like uh, delivered, like sixty dollars, I said I give this a try. Uh, the company's American. Uh, it's out in California, I believe, and. Uh, Shipping was real fast, but anyhow, as you can see, it's a real small thing. It doesn't come with any bells or whistles. There's nothing on it, and that's kind of what my idea was to design, but just a real quick test on it, and I'll see if I can kind of spin this around a little bit. I'm going to move the camera so this does not make you too dizzy, and lower it a little bit. Sorry about this. Yeah. So, if you take a look at it, what I did was... And I'll show you this all in a few minutes, but uh, show you how it works. So we'll turn it on, and I have it set at 13.6 volts, and I think you can probably see that. Now this whole bottom thing doesn't come with the power supply. This is just something I made. Uh, probably spend too much time with it but anyhow so what I'll do is I'll show you because I don't really have anything that draws that kind of energy down here so what I have is right behind it and I'll show you there's a big headlight an old-fashioned headlight from a car and the radio uh, so what we'll do is let's turn it on right now and I were to get the headlight hooked up so headlight draws a lot of power almost 8 amps for a headlight uh, so we'll turn on the, uh, the radio as well with the radio even and receive eight and four so you see we're staying right around 13 six right about where it's set there's an adjustment on the front uh I'll, when i back up i'll show you that but i'll key it up on we'll say fm let me turn that down i'll key it up on fm going up to 11.5 it dropped a wee little bit but it's pretty well regulated 13.5 uh and i'll show you on the scope too you can take a look at it the uh it doesn't go crazy or anything with any type of uh, AC interference. I can get the scope into picture here with that picture of my big gigantic head. So come on, focus on us. There we go, a little bit more. All right, well that's probably pretty good right there. So that shows you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the light off, and you'll see. It smooths a wee little bit. You can hardly even notice it. And I'll put the light back on. And you see it just changed a wee little bit again. Like I said, hardly even notice it. Let me plug this in. Sorry if I block it with my big head. I'm just trying to plug it in so it stays on. Uh, and then when I key the radio, you can see a little bit more. But that's actually at 28.28 uh, megahertz. So it's actually picking up interference. So that's not even from the power supply. So it basically a third, of, a third of what the power supply is rated, and that's all I can really put it through the test right now. Uh, seems to regulate very well, and the signal's very well, very good, very whatever. Uh, but anyhow, I'll show you what I did with it. And again, this is just one of these things that, you know, if, if you're thinking, hey, I'm not sure how I want to work things out with this, because I guess I got it, and I had all these ideas for it. Ah, oh, that's my face. Sorry. Sorry if I scared you. Uh, I had all these ideas for it. And then I thought, it's not real easy to work with the way it comes, but, you know, it can be modified pretty easily. So there's the headlight I was showing you back there. I'm going to unplug that. 
and we're going to unplug the radio or turn off the radio and I'm going to turn off the power supply it even takes a little bit of time to bleed on there it goes I just turned everything off because I want to show you what I did with this I took the, already took the bottom off to make this video short so you didn't have to sit here and watch me unscrew screws uh, so here it is it comes with this this cord that I'm going to try to show you a little bit of the uh, power supply comes with this cord and it's nice because it actually has a little rocker switch right in here so you can leave it just like that uh, you don't see these switches around too often like that and of course it's a nice three prong cord so <clears throat> here's the way it comes and to make your connections right here you make the connections now there's three for each of the positive and negative and more than likely that's because with these little screws you can see right here that's really not enough for a I don't know if you're if it's they're kind of small to imagine a, a 30 amp circuit going through one of those so even if you look at some of the newer radios they have two lines coming out for each one so what I did was I ran three lines down and I built this little box here I got the box uh, from circuit specialists actually and their shipping was really good and, and fast uh, a lot of the other stuff I had laying around but not the uh, the combination volt ammeter and that came with the volt ammeter volt ammeter and the shunt I don't know if you saw that when I was spinning around there volt ammeter and the shunt uh, the shunt's necessary because we're not going to put 30 amps right through this uh, this ammeter so it goes through the shunt and then the ammeter kind of taps into it and and takes a percentage of it out and that's what this thing is here it's just basically a wire that goes straight through and then the ammeter is calibrated to post on each side of that shunt and figure out as compared to what's going through what it should reflect uh, and then what I did was I put two, two banana jacks on the inside and that's them there so I could have maybe if I want to power for two different things or maybe plug a banana jack into something um, who knows I don't know why I did too but I did too uh, switch I just put a switch on the side and a nice another on and off switch because I wasn't planning on using this cord but with uh, everybody being on lockdown it's kind of hard to get out to the parts store anymore so keep moving this out of the out of the limelight of the camera so that that's it like I said probably spent a little too much uh, time uh, on that it uh, not that it took that long but uh, I guess I really didn't need all that but I really wanted I figured it doesn't come with a voltmeter or an ammeter and I thought that would be kind of nice to have so got the box it's, it's made out of plastic so uh, if I have a some type of catastrophic event it's not gonna short out anything and that's about it but anyhow something <coughs> something for you to uh, try if you want one of these these uh, power supplies I've only had it like I said about a week and a half so far haven't really used it too much it's been on for maybe half an hour or so no issues with it the fan I'm like I say it's noisy it's not quite it's just about average um, the adjustment for the uh, to set your voltage range is right here this little white uh, I don't know if you can see it if I can come in a little bit more maybe and turn it the right way right there this little white pot right here yeah. that's where you set the voltage and again like I said it came it came it was set at I think 12.6 or something I put it up to 13.6 and and there she sits uh, all in all probably like I said 60 for that uh, I think the uh, case was about five dollars I had these jacks laying around the meter I think was about another twelve dollars and I had these switches laying around or I had that switch laying around and the wire head laying around so uh, it, it's up it's working and uh, just an idea for you and like I said can't say anything bad about the power supply yet I've only had it for a week and a half I haven't really put it through too many tests and used it too much so that's all I got uh, hope it gave you some ideas something to work with thanks for watching